Aflac, well known for its duck in the commercials here in the U.S., and it is the largest provider of individual insurance in Japan. As a result, my next guest understands what's happening in the global economy and what business leaders are looking for in this heated campaign season. Joining us right now is Dan Amos. He's the chairman and CEO of Aflac in a business, uh, Fox Business exclusive. Dan, good to see you. Thank you. Thanks for so much for joining us. We we're all talking about how great the Aflac duck has been for your business. You said once you in, uh, installed. Aflac, the duck. Your, your business doubled. Our business did double. Yeah, we give you an A. You give you an A on that. Thank you. Yeah, yes, it really did. In the United States, when we took it public, our name recognition was under 10 percent, and then all of a sudden it started jumping. And at the end of three years, it was 80, and today it's 93 in the United States. And it's about 95 in Japan. So, characterize for us business today. What's driving your business right now? Well, our stock's doing great. We're at an all time high. Uh, we had the best quarter in the company's history. Uh, great quarter for us. And we continue to do very well in this environment. I will say one of the things I think millennials are interested in is how companies give back and what they're doing. And so, we have the Aflac Cancer Center at Children's Health Care of Atlanta. And our our sales force has given over $65 million of their own money, and we've get, total we've given over $100 million. And that's the kind of thing we're putting forward to show we're a well-balanced company in today's world because some businesses take a hit for not necessarily they did anything wrong. And so just being in front on these things along with making our profits, which of course is number one. So what's the driver? What's really driving the business? I think what's driving the business is the void in the health care system where there's so much out-of-pocket expenses. Like in Japan, you've got a single pay system, but it's gone from no deductibles to 10 to 20 and now to 30. And here in the United States with Obamacare, there are big gaps that are created through co-pays and deductibles when people buy that and they need products to fill those gaps and that's what we're doing. Dan, you, you say the stock's doing great. There have been three downgrades right. uh, from Wall Street analysts in the, the, just the last couple of weeks. What's going on there? The, the, the market seems to think the stock's done about great enough that you've, you've peaked out. For. It was the valuation call largely, right? Right, from the right. Analysts? but yeah. uh, is, there any, is there room to grow there? Well, I, you know, I think all I do is, is give you the numbers and let them choose the price they want it to sell for. But I feel like we're going to make all of our numbers. We're certainly a very safe stock in the way we've approached our investments. So I feel like there's plenty of up room, but that's a decision they have to call. But I certainly uh, am happy with what's been going on. How's Japan's economy doing now? <clears throat> Japan's economy, uh, you know, they want a 2% uh, inflation. And they have not hit it yet, but Abenomics has been working that way. And, and so uh, I think we still a wait and see, but, but our business in Japan has been fabulous. We cut a deal with Japan Post, which is the largest insurance company in the world. Most people don't realize yeah. that. And they're selling for us, and that's been a very good position for us. So we continue to grow there as well. Hasn't the strength in the yen been a real issue? So how does that impact you? Because we talk all the time about what's going on with the yen, and it's driving the stock market there. Right. Well, we used to say exclude the yen, but most people, because we collect all of our money in yen, we pay all of our claims in yen, and then it's only when we transfer the profits at the end of the time. But, but all in all, uh, the yen has been strengthening. I think it averaged 121 last year, I think, through the through. Uh, right now, it's about 113, 114. So that helps us to some degree when you just look at it in dollar amount when you turn it back. Dagan, did you want to jump in? I, I just wanted to ask you, how do you see the health care, the health insurance industry for the individual, like uh, the people who get it from their employers, worsening in in the coming years because of Obamacare? What's that, what should be our biggest concern? Well. Um, you need to fill those gaps and voids that are created in the health care. And, you know, there's, there's some independent research that shows that it used to say that 51% of the Americans could not come up with $1,000 in cash. Right. It's now up to 65% can't come up with $1,000 wow. in cash. Unbelievable. And, you know, our policy costs money, but we deduct it weekly or mm -hmm. monthly. Mm -hmm. So, Dan, great to have you on the show. Thank you for having me. Dan Amos. Aflac.